Hello everyone, I'm with you today to follow on with some tips for Vice President Education in the use of agendas. Here we are in King Arthur's Playground and I'm already logged in as Minnie. The agenda that's showing on the right hand side is the one that we set earlier for the 25th of March. One thing that I notice is that although there are two speakers, we have three evaluators. So I need to remove the third evaluator. So in doing that, I'm now going to show you how to amend an existing agenda template to become a new one. For that amendment, we need to go into the edit area for the agenda itself. The top left is a little pencil and the word agenda. When you click on that, it will take you into the background page for this template, which shows you everything about every item on the agenda. The order in which each one is placed is shown here in the first column. The duration of that element, the name of the event, the role that it is done by, and the times, and the lighting for green, amber and red. This column for print will show you whether or not that's going to be printed on the agenda. First thing I want to do is scroll down and find the third evaluator position, which is this one here. Remember, we don't require that anymore, so I simply want to delete it. We'll find a little delete icon at the right-hand side of every item. So I click that one. It will prompt me with a little reminder, are you sure you want to delete this item? Click yes to take it away. We're back looking at the amended agenda now, and we'll see that the change has taken place because the number of minutes is now different. What I do wish to add to this agenda template is a second educational. You'll notice that the first educational is set here for 15 minutes. The second one I want to add will be slightly less in time. To add anything to our agenda, we've got these tiny little icons, barely noticeable on the left hand side. So I want to add another educational after the first one. <coughs> so I need to insert it here above this one immediately below it. That gives me a space in which I can now put in the educational. I need to select from the drop down role list the term educational so that the system knows that it is one of those that requires an assignment that is different to a normal speech. This one will be for 10 minutes. At the bottom you can select whether or not this is to print on the agenda or whether it should just be on the detailed agenda as this one is showing. I'll leave that in place and click New Agenda Item. It gives me a message up here to remind me that as this is a repeat number, for a particular role, because we've got two educationals, that it had to be a repeat number two. So it automatically does that for you. And you'll see here that we have the second educational in place. Interestingly, that one does not say educational, so I will now amend that by editing. and adding the word educational at the top. This one has 
the start time to be printed on the detailed agenda, but also on the summary agenda. A little bit different to the second one that I put in place. We now have two hours and seven minutes, so I now need to go through a process of pruning the amount of time required. And the first thing to look for in that is where you have a break for the evening and you can prune that back. You can also look for other longish items to prune those back as well. So in this case where we're not inducting new members, I'm going to make a change here and reduce that by five minutes. Like so. And leave out the induct new members part of the title. And update it. Right, we've just two minutes to shave off our network break or some other part of the evening's events. So we might shave some off the table topics here and reduce it from 15 minutes to 13. This is often necessary if you're having two educationals and perhaps only four out of the possible six table topics. Now we're at the two hours, I'm happy with my agenda and I want to use this one as a new template. Right at the bottom you get a space to do that where it says use this agenda to create a new template. This is for my 2015 collection and it's going to be two speakers plus two educationals. And then select new template. I can now return to the agenda itself and see how that looks. Scrolling down we should be able to see two educational positions ready to be assigned and only two evaluators for the speaker positions. That's it for this session. I'll be back later and show you how to do even more smart working with your agendas.